All right, I think Coca-Cola has been in my dreams because there's been many a night where I wake up and I remember a dream and then I think to myself, what would that dream taste like? <laughs> All right, because this is what's going on. Dream World Coca-Cola, and you can see it right there. It is dream flavored. Let me tell you, there's some dreams that I've had, nightmares that I had. When I wake up, I'm like, no, I don't even want to remember that. Never mind tasting it. Have I made myself clear? Coca-Cola is off their rocker. We got another new flavor. We're going to check it out. Cue the intro. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. All right, we got out of the kitchen slightly, moved over to the, uh, what do you call this? The coffee nook. It's the coffee nook. Uh, but we have the Dream World Limited Edition Coca-Cola. This is one of these new flavors that Coca-Cola is coming out with. They have done, uh, what is it, three of them? They did the uh, Starlight. Was that what it's called? See, I'm forgetting all of these names. Was it Starlight? Why am I forgetting? But they had that one that's supposed to taste like space. Then they had the one that was going to be pixel flavored. Then they had the uh, collaboration with Marshmallow, the artist known as Marshmallow. And it was a uh, strawberry watermelon uh, coca-cola so now they're at it again with the flavor of dreams and there it is one more time let's give it a taste all right we're gonna taste it this is uh, coca-cola creations they're kind of separate line where they're experimenting with these flavors to try to bring Gen X is that what they're doing generation X I don't even know I don't even know let's just go give it a taste and see if it does taste like every dream I've ever had encapsulated into Coca-Cola form. All right, we have a lot of, oof. Doesn't look like they filled it up enough right there. Look at this, what are you doing? This thing cost me a buck 99, Coke. What are you doing? All right, let's give it a smell. Wait a minute. All right, by smell, the first smell I got was pineapple, and then the second and third smell I got was like a cotton candy where I think cotton candy kind of resonates a little bit more with dreams. You have the clouds, you have cotton candy. It's light, it's airy, it is uh, mysterious. Again, how many of you have had dreams and then are like, hey, what, does, what, what did that taste like? All right, let's go wish me luck. Dream World Coca-Cola, the flavor of dreams. It's a nice little tagline, let's go. the flavor of something. All right, so these flavors that uh, Coca-Cola Creations keep pumping out, you get one every month it feels like. Um, they just slightly miss the mark sometimes or they uh, miss the mark on a higher level other times. I uh, am not sure how I feel about this, I think this one is right in the middle for me because I'm getting a Coca-Cola flavor and then there is this, I don't know, cotton candy vibe. I don't know if that's just my mind playing tricks on me. Ghetto Boys, because of clouds and dreams and fogginess, I'm thinking uh, cotton candy, but it does have uh, that kind of vibe for me and I don't know if I'm correct. I am probably incorrect. This is just a flavor. It's just a dream flavored Coca-Cola. I don't know, they could just make up anything. I mean, this is basically infinite. They can basically make any Coca-Cola under this Coca-Cola Creations uh, umbrella and uh, never ever run out of ideas because I could just throw it onto a label and call it something else. Next, it's gonna be a Coca-Cola placemat. Have you ever wondered what your placemat tastes like? I just saw the three placemats over there. That's where I went. Yeah. I don't know what this tastes like. 
Does it taste like dreams? I have no idea, but it does have uh, more of a Coca-Cola flavor. That marshmallow one, uh, it was just uh, kind of infiltrated with the watermelon and the strawberry and I wasn't really feeling it. Uh, this one, it's more of, I don't wanna say um, marshmallow, cause that's weird. They had the marshmallow one, which wasn't marshmallow. They have this one, which is dream. And something in my mind is thinking cotton candy or marshmallow. But again, I am not good at these uh, blind taste tests. Even though this isn't trying to be something, I'm just trying to give you an idea of what it tastes like to me and what your dreams may taste like. I'm not trying any of your dreams. Just no offense, no offense. I'm pretty sure you don't want to taste any of mine. <laughs> Pause. All right, so yeah, I, I don't know. I don't even know why I smelled a pineapple right off the bat uh, because after that, it's been all about this uh, dream world uh, for me. Dream World uh, Coca-Cola. All right, one more time. There is the bottle, $1.99. I ended up going to Walmart. They didn't have any of the bottles. They had the 12 pack of the, uh, no, not a 12 pack, a 10 pack of the minis. So I had mini cans and that was $5.89 or $5.79 for a 10 pack of minis. I bought it, then went to the grocery store, found it for $1.99 and took the uh, 10 pack back. So, uh, all right, let's give it a rating from one to 100 with one meaning, don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of. <laughs> I'm going to give Dream World Coca-Cola a rating of. <sighs> um, 80, it's an 80, probably a little high. Can I change it? Is that a rule? I didn't make up these rules. I guess I did. It's my channel, 75. It's gonna be a 75. This is not hitting the 80 barrier. I don't know where my mind was. I was dreaming. See what I did there? Yeah, now this appears over here when it was in my hand a minute ago. You are not dreaming. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. All right, so there you go, another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, now I think you are dreaming because it's back in my hand. You didn't think you were getting magic. You didn't think, you tuned in. You're like, I'm gonna see what this uh, soda tastes like. And it turned into David Copperfield, Chris Angel. I'm more of a Houdini fan. All right, that's it. <laughs> we'll see you soon with some more reviews.